Hi guys, welcome to Tag Trick Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to make YouTube thumbnails using AI. Best AI YouTube thumbnail maker. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. At the end of this video, you will be able to use AI to create amazing thumbnails for your YouTube video. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now, for today's video, we will be using Leonardo.ai as our image generator for today's video. We will be asking Leonardo to produce us three different types of thumbnail. The topics that I would be asking Leonardo to produce for us are anime, food, and cars over here. Now, let's go first with anime. Also, I'm going to teach you a tip and trick when using AI generators. Now, usually in most AI generator, they have this gallery over here which are the different outputs produced by other users and which are the best of the best. So what you can do is you can copy the prompt of the people who have been added in this section over here, the trending section, and we could use their style as an idea for us to create our thumbnail as well. So like I said earlier, my idea was anime. So our first topic is going to be anime. Also, this is their AI generator over here you will be able to access this by simply clicking on AI image generator over here under the user tools now in this section as you can see this is where we can enter our prompt and then we have your different models over here now we're first going to check out our basis or our reference over here which is this one so I'm simply going to open this and we're going to copy the style over here because this is an anime style and I think the style is very great so we're going to simply copy the prompt over here the tip that I'm going to teach you is like I said earlier, you're going to be copying the prop up the top or the best images produced in the gallery. So over here, I'm going to paste it over here. We're also going to check out the different information like the contrast boost. Let's check it out over here. Is there anything over here about the contrast boost? Right now, our contrast is on high. So let's not touch that for now. Also, we have prop magic is version 3. It's currently in beta, so this has to be with Alchemy. But to be able to access this, we have to pay for it. So we won't be able to fully explore or fully copy this, but we're still going to try. And for our model, it's the Dream Shaper version 7. So we're going to use that. And now after that, what you're going to do is you're going to edit the prompt. Of course, when you copy the prompt, it will, of course, generate the same image over here or almost the same image. So what you can do is you're going to check them out over here and then you can edit the prompt so that the topic it's going to create an image out of is the image that you're trying to create. Also, we're going to have to set it to a landscape version over here and then we're going to edit our prompt over here. Now, we're going to change this. Create a captivating minimalist wallpaper inspired by, let's change this to one piece series one piece there we go the aspect ratio we're going to delete this going to delete this one there we go so embrace the dark color red adding a hour of mystery to the one piece theme then the emphasis should be on simplicity clean line creating a bi-dimensional representation that complements the minimalist style incorporate iconic elements from the Going to change this again. One piece series such as Seven Dragon Balls. So let's just say here Year 5. Then we're going to delete this. Then we're going to say Silhouette of well known characters. Then we're going to delete this character over here. Change it to Luffy. There we go. This element should be creative integrated. Minimalist design. And aims to strike past Natalia. The very style. Long time fans of One Piece. There we go. Now let's double check if we were able to copy everything. And there we go. So let's go try and generate this now. Let's ask it to produce us four images and simply click on generate. Now some prompts are a bit hard to change the information about. Like for example, this one we had to change a lot of message or a lot of text. But in some prompts, it's going to be okay. There we go. We have our output over here. Not the best. So what we can do now is we could retry it again. But as you can see, it will generate an image over here. Now the technique when generating AI image is to try and try and try again. Because sometimes it's not really going to produce the output that you're trying to create. So this is what you can do. And over here, there we go. We have another output over here. Once again, still a bit bad. Not the way that we asked it to be generated out of. 
then we're going to change this you could change the prompt by the way you don't, you don't need to copy it all the way for example let's not have it as a silhouette anymore let's just remove this and let's just say here here five goofy there we go then simply click on generate and let's see the difference this time between this three outputs over here and there we go now we have this as a good output over here but it's not the one i'm trying to get but we still have good outputs and we could check out another different output or another different basis for you to use if you don't like the output that we have over here so next one let's go look for a prompt for the food so let's go look for other outputs over here let's see if there is a style that we would like to have our food to be presented on how about this one let's go and check out this one over here this has a very nice style so we could open this then we could copy this prompt over here then we will be able to try and create a food out of this as well have this also generated we're going to have it as a burger assuming the video is about burger making and or like designing food stuff that specific topic so we can use this as our style there are other style available in the gallery for you to use for you to check out it is completely up to you on which style that you are using all of this have amazing potential to be a great thumbnail so it is completely up to you on which one you would like to use but for me, I'm going to stick with it. Now let's go and copy this prompt. Copy prompt. Paste it over here. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to change it to a burger. Like I said earlier, we're going to be focusing on a burger. How about let's add a Big Mac as a name as well. Big Mac Burger. And then go check out the model. We have the Dream Shaper version 7. Just simply click on generate. Then we're simply going to wait for it again. And while waiting, as you can see, there we go. A better output for this style. We have our burger dripping with style over here and you could already use this as one of your thumbnails right away let's go look for a topic or a design for a vehicle this is a good style over here so we're simply going to open this and we could change the name of this car later on and we will be using a uh, another type of vehicle let's go and check out our style for this one we're going to copy the prompt for this one over here then paste it over here art work of a t-shirt graphic design flat design royal blue bike we're going to change this to honda civic realistic car here we go Back drop and then let's try and generate this one let's go and double check if it's the same it's the leonardo diffusion so let's go look for that one and generate that as well now we have two sets of art style that is being generated right now now as you can see here already the first one was a bit disappointing it was hard to replicate the style the second one was great we were able to produce amazing outputs right off the bat as you can see here and now over here we have our honda civic right away very good as well and depending on your style on how you would like it to be as you can see this one looks great you will be able to use this as a thumbnail now of course if you want to add more details you can simply incorporate the image that you have produced and add some editing into it so that you will be able to add like elements into your thumbnails actually we could also create a version for what we are talking about right now which is leonardo so let's search for an output right now that we could use for example we could go with a simple one like this one over here I'm going to copy this this is over here Get cartoon detail uh, leonardo or let's say cat using leonardo ai let's experiment in a sticker style what type of model is this the dream shaper 7 then simply generate and let's see what type of output we will be able to produce from this type of style and let's give it some time now while waiting for this this is our last prompt for today's video and we will be able to see the different output and there we go although i don't think leonardo ai was incorporated in our element but you got the idea that i was trying to get it takes a while so that experiment with the props and that's it guys that is how you could use leonardo ai a great ai to produce thumbnails for your youtube videos so that's it for now guys leave a like and subscribe hope you enjoy watching